Hi everyone, I hope you're all well, having a great day. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of our Pokemon BGC 2019 Battle Series. We kicked off in our last episode with this team you can see on the screen right in front of you. If you missed yesterday's episode and you'd like to see how the team got on as we kick off into this week, I'll link a card up there for you. You can go back and check that out before coming into today's episode, but just to give you a quick recap, this is a variation of the team that I took to the Bristol Regional over the weekend. Uh, we've got Tapu Fini, Mega Metagross, Yveltal, Incineroar, Groudon, and Thunderous Ethereum form. No, Incarnate form. As always, the team is down in the description below. There is a Poker Paste and Roll Paste. If you'd like to try it out, take it away, test drive it, uh, be my guest. I hope you enjoy it, but let me know how you get on with it. And um, without further ado, I guess, let's just jump into today's episode. But as always guys, if you enjoy this sort of content, as I always say, please remember to drop a like on the video. It does really help out the channel. Make sure you do subscribe so you don't miss any of the other Pokemon content that we have on the channel, other content that we've got in the works as well. And make sure to leave your comments because I love hearing from you all and I have been a little bit busy of late and I haven't been able to get back to each and every one of you as quick as I would have liked to. So if you have commented on a video and I haven't replied, I do apologize, it's not because I'm ignoring you it's just I haven't had the chance to go back through them and I really appreciate each and every one of the comments that I do get so don't think badly of me for that but we have a first opponent and we'll jump straight into our team preview screen okay so our opponent to kick off today is running a team of Evelto Kyoga, Gengar, Togedemaru, Bronzong and Incineroar so we got Blaze Cat. Uh, it's probably not Blaze, it's definitely Intimidate, isn't it? I just, I just wish for the Blaze Cat. Um, okay, so, Eveltal, we've got Thunderous that deals with it. Kyogre, we've got Thunderous that deals with it. Gengar, if, if it starts shenanigans, we've got Taunt. Togedemaru stops Thunderous. Ah, okay. Okay, so we'll have to rethink that maybe a little bit. Bronzong and then the Incineroar. So, Bronzong going to be the probably main speed control means on the team you probably got the Eveltal's got the Z move I would imagine on this team it makes life a little bit difficult for Metagross for sure um, but uh, Misty Seed Eveltal doesn't do a bad job here you know uh, I think I will lead with it um, and I'm going to lead with Tapu Fini no I'm going to lead with Incineroar and I'm going to have Tapu Fini in the back and I think do I bring do I bring Thunderous or do I bring Groudon I think Groudon just because of the Kyogre. I just, the Togonomaru puts me off too much bringing Thunderous. Like, I'm, if I'm completely honest, I just don't want to be in a situation where I'm just locked out of not being able to use um, Thunderbolt and stuff like that because of it. So let's go into this first one. This first one today, and we'll kick off against Ray. Yeah, so, hmm. I'm still a little bit disappointed from yesterday's episode. Uh, and spoiler alert, if you have not seen it, and you'd like to see before coming into this one. Go over see it now, because I'm going to reveal what happened. Not that a lot of you probably really care. But yeah, I'm just disappointed about the result in yesterday's second game. Um, I think, like, it was it's one of those games I look back on and think, we definitely could have done well here. What's with the white screen? Come on, DS. It's like I'm on a, like a motion picture set. What's going to appear in the background? I've never had this before. Uh, communication with the other trainer was interrupted. Okay. That's disappointing. I was looking forward to that match. I feel like that match would have been good. Ah, oh, come on, Global Link. Well, I'm sorry about this, guys, but we will continue. And hopefully it doesn't take too long to find our first opponent. We'll hop back over so we can see the, the bottom screen. I guess I'll select some music. Um, what are we going to go for? League tile defense. Let's go for that one. We'll get the invisible bottle out. It's even more invisible on this screen. <laughs> I need to stop doing this. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. But I'm so thirsty today. I'm so thirsty. I can't help. I normally just drink in between videos. So I'm not guzzling away for you guys. It's not so professional. But I'm, I don't know, it's just really hot today. I've been doing a lot of work this morning. I'm just like, oh, I feel, feel thirsty, man. I feel like I've been walking through the desert. Right, we got Apple VGC, 1544 rated player. Let's get into team preview. 
And it is a Rayoga variant. So we've got Rayquaza Kyogre, Gengar, which is going to be a Mega. So we've got double Mega on this team. Uh, which one they'll pick? I would imagine they'll probably go Mega Gengar, try and trap us in. Um, with an endgame with Kyogre. Uh, to override our weather. And probably utilize, if they do bring Ray as a means to kind of um, snipe us with the Water Spout, with that Airlock ability. You've got the Incineroar with the Intimidate support, Fake Out support. Uh, Crobat and Bronzong. I think that we will bring Thunderous to this game because it puts on so much pressure on a lot of the team. You've got the Crobat there that can set up Tailwind, can really be disruptive. We've got the Taunt there, the Prankster Taunt that really does help us out there. It shuts down the Gengar as well, makes things a bit easier for us in that respect. Um, I think we'll go Ebeltal up top as well because Ebeltal is pretty decent here. We definitely need that type of Finny. We want something that can switch into... Uh, Kyogre, um, if it is active on the field. And do we go Incineroar as well and maybe leave our Restricteds behind? Like, Intimidate is outstanding for the Rayquaza. That's the, the one thing there. Uh, Metagross is decent against Rayquaza, not so good against that. Um, but the Groudon's also pretty good against this team, you've got to think. And if we can deal with the Rayquaza, which we should be able to do, Groudon has a pretty good time here. So we'll lock in with Groudon. As our last one, and it makes me sad that I'm not bringing Intimidate because I do generally like to bring Intimidate against Rayquaza. Uh, as long as you can get one Intimidate, then it makes it a lot easier. So, white screen, not a thing in this one, just briefly, and we're going up against Apple. So, we'll lead off with the Veltal Thunderous, and we'll see what my opponent comes out at us with Crobat and Kyogre. Very interesting. Hmm. Do I nuke the Kyogre? Do I nuke the Kyogre turn one? I really want to. I really, 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 really want to just go Electrium Z into that Kyogre. But I don't think my opponent's going to let me just do that. I think you go Tailwind on Crobat. Um, and that's why I'm going to just taunt the Crobat. And I'm going to just snarl the Kyogre. The worst case scenario is they read into this and go, um, Super Fang. And they haven't even protected the Kyogre, which is really frustrating. I think that would be the player that I would have thought. Yeah, they're reading straight into it, Super Fang. And they're going to go Water Spout, I think. The Snarl might save our bacon. But I don't know. I really don't know, actually. They will. Ice Beam. Okay, well, this might be enough to save us. Oh, just... Okay, now we can get rid of the Kyogre. Let's go Electrium Z into Kyogre. And let's go Tailwind with Evelto. And this is where Kyogre protects. Every time it happens like this. Okay. Again, we're not doing so well today, are we? Super Fang into the Thunderous. Does miss. Here we go, Z move, wasted into a protect, as always. Good way for us to kick off today, but we're not gonna let that dampen our spirits. We're gonna get the old genie. Is uh is still gonna be useful. Ah uh, man. At least we got the tailwind up, I guess. That's a thing. Um we could get Finny in and kind of maneuver ourselves into a position where um I mean, the Thunderbolt might get the Kyogre from here. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, what I'll do, I think, is get Tapu Fini in. We'll try and maneuver ourselves into a position where we can switch Thunderous out for Eveltal and Heal Pulse at the same time. Um, and then we get the Misty Seed and get Eveltal onto the field in tip-top shape, hopefully. Kyogre going to switch itself out. We're going to see what we're going to see come in. Incineral. Huh, okay. What's the Crawlback gonna do? Super Fang into the Thunderous, I'd imagine. We've had so many times we could just concentrate down on this this Crawlback, and we're running out of time really because its taunt will wear off. That'll probably be this turn. Yeah. How much is a fake out gonna do to Valtel? That's the thing. I mean, hmm. Yeah, 
Your Veltor should not, shouldn't go down. Uh, I just don't want to risk it. Like a critical hit fake out could be devastating for us. I'm just going to stay and try and taunt the Crawbat. And I'm going to go... I'm going to go Heal Pulse into Thunderous as well. Just to get its health back up. Ah, Crawbat actually... Retreats. Doesn't even go for the Tailwind. You're a madman. He could have actually Thunderbolt with that. But never mind. This will stop any potential... Swords dancing or protecting there, which is always useful. Uh, and what's the Incineroar going to do? Flare Blitz into Thunderous. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> Alright, well, we've got Icy Wind, we can do that. Um. Hmm. The Rayquaza probably goes. I wonder where you go. Do you go Dragon Ascent into the Finny? Hmm. This is kind of tricky now, I think. Um, and I don't really want to waste. Like, do I waste my last turn of Trick Root? Like, Tailwind? Or do I just attack into. Like, I could just Hidden Part Ice and just Icy Wind. Rayquaza is probably going to, yeah, it's going to, so we're not going to be doing massive amounts of damage and we might lose Thunderous here. But at least we're getting damage onto this Rayquaza. Okay, this will probably take us down now. And we should have one turn of Tailwind left. Now I think we've got to get Groudon in. Especially if the Kyogre comes back onto the field now for my opponent. It's Crobat. Because they can just Tailwind. Yeah. Our Tailwind Pit is out. So we'll get crowd on in. Do we get crowd on in? I mean, yeah, let's get crowd on in. I think one thing we could potentially do: switch crowd on straight back out into Evaltal and heal pulse. Because I don't think my opponent goes for an extreme speed here into the crowd on. I think. They could potentially go for a Dragon Ascent into that slot. Hmm. This is all getting very messy right now. Um, yeah, I'll try for a Heal Pulse into Valtor. And hope they target the, the Finning Down with, with a Dragon Ascent. Because a Super Fang into Valtor from Crobat is fine. But we need this heal pulse. We like so badly. Okay, Rayquaza are gonna come out. We're gonna get the heal pulse. And Sinner will come back in. That's fine. So fine. So fine. Where's the super fan coming? Or is it Tailwind? I would imagine Tailwind. Yeah. But that's all right. That is actually fine. Super fine. Because Veltal's our main priority right now. Like, 100%. Uh, we'll protect. And we will go for a... Hmm, do we light screen? I don't think so, really. Um, let's just... I see wind. Because the Crobat will be back down to neutral. Um, it's just whether or not we're switching guard on now. Which could be... An option, but we're probably better off just trying to chip chip away because I expect the Incineroar fake out the Veltal. Yeah, super fine. Yeah, into Finny. Do 
which isn't brilliant because it's putting our Finny into definitely into um, Dragon Ascent range. But if I bury Prox before then, maybe we'll, we will be okay. Maybe uh, we can foul play the. Cro oh, do we Tailwind actually? Hmm. So if you re reveal Tailwind already, so it's like, does the Crobat actually just go for Taunt this turn? Which you can imagine them probably doing, to be honest. So we could just foul play and heal pulse. Because if he Veltal's on full health, that puts us in. Yeah, there's the Taunt. Ah, into Finny though this turn. Hmm. Yeah, it wants to stop the heal pulse. <laughs> yeah, and now we're gonna see Kyogre come in, and then Crobat switch to the Rayquaza. I would imagine. Ah, oh, it's Rayquaza. Okay. Hmm. This is tricky because we are you definitely dragon ascent. I think you definitely dragon ascent. The... Oh, no, you probably don't. You probably dragon ascent the Evaltal here. Or do you? Do you just dragon ascent the Finny? I think you probably. That's the the one thing that I think you probably dragon ascent the Finny here more than anything else. So I could foul play the Rayquaza and just bring in Groudon, which will take the Dragon Ascent a lot better. Well, Finny just won't take it now. So here comes the Incineroar. Oh, okay. I, I'm just banking on the fact that Yveltal's revealed Protect before, and my opponent knows that the Finny's taunted and it doesn't have protect and it's a slot that you can guarantee probably a knockout into if you talk, attack into that slot so there's a dragon ascent where's it going okay so we should get the foul player if this is life orbed we get the requaza <sighs> i think it might be is it no that's a lot of damage is that banded though but we get it, okay, that makes life a little bit easier for us. We can kind of maybe come back into this game. It's about just getting my opponent down to one Pokemon now, and then we can we can dictate the weather from that point. Okay, Kyogre coming back in, which makes sense. Um, we can protect. Now this might be a good time for us to actually get a berry, berry procced with, with Tapu Fini. Um, we can protect Yveltal because of the fake out pressure there. We can't risk leaving it alone. Um, we'll switch back into Tepa Fini. Hopefully it's Berry does proc because that would probably give us room then to heal pulse um, our Yveltal the next turn. If we can get Yveltal back to full health I think it can carry us through this game. So we'll protect there's the fake out. Yeah. Origin Pulse? Origin Pulse. Hopefully this is enough just to put us into berry range. It does hit, which we want it to. Perfect. Berry! Finny is a happy, happy little mermaid right now. Perfect. Okay. Let's just double check. I don't think there's Tailwind on the field. So, come on DS. Let's not do this now. Okay. Um, it's not Tailwind, that's good. So we can Snarl and we can Heal Pulse. Ari Veltal. Now, my opponent's got to worry about us potentially switching in Groudon here, so they might not want to use a water type attack. They might want to Ice Beam. But Ari with so much special defense and the Misty Seed boost, we should be alright. Kind of surprised we've been able to pull ourselves back into this match. <laughs> um, but it's all fine. So there's a snarl. Definitely take whatever Kyogre throws out at us now. 
The incinerator will probably U-turns, I'd imagine. Origin pulse. Let's see what you're doing. I'm surprised you went for that, to be honest. Um, because of the threat of us switching Groudon. Like, but I, I mean, fine. And there's a U-turn, uh, bringing the core back onto the field. <sighs> but I mean, at this point, it's it's fine. Like, we just need to manage our board properly, and we'll, we'll be fine. This has been a long game. Um, and one of the things I found with this team, like I was using Z, Evelto, so it wasn't as bulky. Um, but I did find with this team, it's very slow operating, and you have to, like, just grind. Grind results out. Um, hmm. Let's file play the Crobat and let's. Oh, they're gonna just they. Ooh, they're gonna they're gonna shut down our option to heal pulse. I would say. Um, so, in light of that, because they could bring in Incineroar as well. That's the other thing. Um, I think what I'll do is just switch Finny out into Groudon. Yeah, they do. They bring an Incineroar. And I hope the Crowback taunts the Finny. That's what I'm hoping for. Discuss Tailwind. That's fine. I mean, like, that is super fine. I don't mind that at all. The Snarl, is it enough to take down the Crobat? Yes. Okay. That's good. Now, like I say, we're like... I mean, it's definitely not over by a long... Like, it's not over because Groudon's so low health. The Kyogre comes in. We need to switch Groudon out to Finny. We'll still take a, a considerable amount of damage, for sure. Um... Hello, help us Kyle out. Okay, I mean it's fine. It should be fine. Should be. <sighs> okay. And we'll switch Groudon out to Finny now. So at least we got the Groudon to come back in. I don't want to switch. Finny back into Groudon at any point on now. We'll just protect the Veltal this turn. Again, the fake out coming out from the Incineral. Something we want to try and avoid to take just free damage from my opponent here. Let's fake out. Origin Pulse. Does it miss? Nah, it never misses. Okay, we probably take one more of those with Finny. Um, the other thing is we could switch in Groudon right now, and my opponent knows that. And I think, like like I said, I don't want to switch in Groudon though, that's the thing. Uh, I think I just want to do a Tailwind myself, because how many turns have they got? Two, yeah, we can't really stall it out. I mean, and he goes down, Groudon comes in, protect, there's a Tailwind gone, we probably win anyway with Groudon. Uh, I'm gonna tailwind, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna try and heal pulse Evelto. If I can get it off, that would be amazing. If not, then it's fine. As Ice Beam yet, expecting the Groudon to come in. Yeah. Z move. Oh no, we're not gonna get a tailwind up. I don't think because they're gonna target into Evelto with the Dark Aura boost as well. Here, it's gonna be more than enough. Oh, it's into Finny. Maybe they thought the Ice Beam would be enough to get the Eveltal. This will be enough to get Finny, though. Finny, you did well. You did so well for us, Finny. My good friend, Finny. Okay, so there's the Tailwind. And, like a couple of occasions yesterday, we had this kind of board position where we had Eveltal out, Groudon out, and it came down to whether a Precipice Blades could hit or not. 
Now I could, I could, Earth Power, the Incineroar, and just foul play the Kyogre. Because you can only target one thing with Kyogre. So, really, it's better to do this. Foul play the Kyogre. We probably won't take it down. The Incineroar can't protect, so we will take that down. So we protect whatever. We give him one choice. He can't double target anything. And whatever does survive on our side of the field will be able to pick up the knockout onto the Kyogre the following turn. So, here we go. Foul play. This won't be enough to pick up the knockout, I wouldn't have thought. Very close. There's the Ice Beam into Groudon. Takes away the rain, but now the Veltal. We know it's faster than it, even out of Tailwind. We'll be able to, to close this one out for us. So, Yveltal with the Misty Seed doing super well. But what a, what a long game we've had today. Um, this has been like 25 minutes. It's crazy. Very good game to my opponent. And uh, like I said, I didn't feel like this was one that we could kind of win. But we've managed to kind of come out on top of this one. Um, what we'll do, we'll have another one. We'll have another one, I guess. Because it's... It's not the same, just having one battle in an episode isn't the same, is it, at all? So, yeah, very good game to my opponent. We managed to sneak a win out there, which is always very nice. Um, Apple VGC, very nice to feature you on the channel. Um, but we will move into our next one. Like I say, we are running very close to 30 minutes, but we might make this one a little bit longer today, just, um, just because I feel like two game episodes are a minimum, really, aren't they? They are. And we cannot let you down. I can't let you down. That's the big thing. So there, we'll hop over and see what our rating is right now. And uh, we'll get into search mode. Hopefully find our next opponent. Doing this screen as well reminds me that we need to put some sort of music on as well. Uh, what are we going to go for? Legendary Pokemon. And we've got our next opponent from Mexico. So we'll hop straight into Team Pre. So our next opponent today is running a team of Dawnwings Necrozma, which is probably Ultra Necrozma, potentially, with what the other Pokemon we're seeing on the field. We're going to see Groudon, Salamence, which is probably going to be the Mega there, Tapu Lele, potentially Scarfed, could be Z-Move, Incineroar, we're going to have Faker and Timidate support, and the Amoongus as well, which is probably more of a Trick Room tech for my opponent, could be Turbo Shroom. Which you have to watch out for these days, people are running Timid Max Speed at Amoongus with Focus Sash, so they can spoil your poor little Incineroar before it can even attack and things like Stack Attacker that cause these teams all sorts of problems. Right, what are we going to do? Um, if we bring a Veltal, one thing that does give us a bit of a hard time is the Amoongus, because um, a Veltal is not attached to the floor, so that does make things a little bit trickier for us. Um, Metagross is like really generally quite good here. Um, the Dawnwings Necrozma makes things a little bit harder for us. I might go Incineroar, Evelto. Because my opponent's main speed control is going to be Tailwind from the Mens, for sure. Um, I'll go Finny, and I think I'll bring Groudon. Do I want to? Do I want to do this and leave Metagross at home? <sighs> Metagross is like. Metagross isn't bad here, but it's also not brilliant, but we'll we'll leave it. We'll leave it for the Groudon, we'll bring Groudon. If we can get Groudon in Tailwind, it's all going to be good. Haven't brought much of the Thunderous so far, um, so hopefully we can bring that a bit more. That's a weird one, because that last slot is like is, is the slot that it's been giving me the, the most trouble in this team the whole time. It's been Amoongus, it's been Jumpluff. Crazy as it sounds, Jump Bluff's very cool. It's been Cartana, obviously we've mentioned that. There's been loads of different options there. And I cannot make a decision. I do feel Thunder Rest is going to be quite good there, but we need to give it a little bit more time. So we're going to see my opponent lead off with uh, Dawn Wings and the Incineroar. It could be Trick Room Dawn Wings. Who knows? It might be to throw us completely off. Um, okay, so... I think we'll U-turn out on the opposing Incineroar, and we will just go for a... Do we just foul play? Or Snarl? I think, because it could be Ultra Necrozma, we'll, we'll Snarl. We'll probably just see a fake out, though, from... Okay, we're going to see the Ultra Necrozma. 
ultra bursting. We're probably gonna have to cut some Z move out of this episode. Maybe, maybe we can deny it. Pick out ah into Incineroar. That's fine. Earth power. Okay, doubling up into that slot. Poor Incineroar. Doesn't deserve this treatment. Take the snarl for your troubles. Yeah. Wow. Look at that. That is, that is crazy damage. <laughs> okay. Um. Probably don't want to leave Incineroar to get taken down. The Intimidate will be useful for that crowd on later in the game. Let's bring in good old Finny. Finny McPhee. And uh, let's Tailwind. Oh, I mean... Do you take down Incineroar now? Do you actually do that? Because one of the things we could potentially do is just actually U-turn out. And then could Tailwind. Then we get Groudon in for free. Yeah, I'm just going to do that. I think the Necrozma might protect. It might do. It might fear. Yeah. Fear is a sucker punch, I think. Their Incineroar should go before us, I think. No! Nah, we want it to go. We want... Wow, we need it. We need the Incineroar to go before us so we can dictate the field a little bit better. Uh, we'll bring in Groudon now. Because now we've got Eruption. We've got Eruption, we've got Precipice Blades, we've got Earth Power, we've got all sorts of things. We're going to see a U turn come out from the opposing Incineroar for sure. But where it goes, who knows? It's going to U turn into Groudon, I think, to try and snipe the, the Incineroar that we had there. Hoping it might be enough damage. And also, there's not Protect on, on that slot for sure. Or most of the time, there's not. So there's a U turn. Yeah, there's it. Into the Groudon. A nice healthy amount of damage there. What are we going to see come in? Amoongus? Or is it going to be Groudon? Is Groudon? Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. We see the Groudon protect, for sure. Like, definitely. The opposing Groudon protects. I'm pretty sure of that. But the Precipice Blades will get the Necrozma. Um, and just to kind of cover the Groudon, if it doesn't protect, we can foul play that slot. Incineroar definitely comes in there, I think. Yeah. But that's fine, because we'll get the Incineroar with the Precipice Blades. Um, and I think the combination of Precipice Blades and foul play will still get the opposing Groudon. I hate Precipice Blades so much! <laughs> I really do. Oh man, such a sucky move. We don't even get the Incineroar from that distance. Man, there's a foul play. Great. Good job, Grout. This is the worst Groudon. Do they hit? Of course they hit. They probably even hit the Veltal, even though we're a flying type. It's like, doesn't matter. We'll still hit you. Um. Disappoint. It is disappointing. Uh, we will protect. We'll double protect. Um, here. I can't remember the last time I double protect on a turn. It's been a long time, but I don't feel like we need to really do too much different here, to be honest. <sighs> Precipice Blades. What we're going to see. Cool if we, oh, okay, just to protect. And Cineral. Fake out. Fake out protect turn. Huh. Okay. Um, I mean, foul play will get Groudon from here. Uh, so I could just Earth Power the Incineral. And just foul play the Groudon. It's like way more reliable. It's just if we. If we miss the KO on Groudon, that'll be annoying with foul play. If it's a roll. But it's better than going for Precipice Blades and missing both targets, I guess. At least we can guarantee at least a KO on Incineroar. So there's the Earth Power. Mr. Reliable. And I would have went into the Groudon, I think, with Earth Power and foul play the previous turn, but it's... 
it's kind of obvious that you protect Groudon there and try and get your Incineroar onto the field. Oh, we get a little bit fortunate, maybe, with a critical hit. Um, and that's the reason why I never doubled up into it the, the previous turn, why I went for the Precipice Blitz, to kind of cover for that Incineroar switching in, like you kind of expected to. Uh, so Necrozma coming out now. Atilwind has pitted out. Pittered out. Ah, oh, there's the Amoongus. What we were worried about. Originally. Um, and the Misty Seed hasn't activated yet, but we do kind of do need it. We do need our um, <sighs> we're gonna see an Earth Power into the, the ground on slot for sure. Um, it's a good tailwind, I guess, but. I think this is going to be a pain in butt to deal with. Okay, um, I'm just going to protect the Beltle here. So I think the Amoongus tries to put the Beltle to sleep this turn. We probably see an Earth Power maybe into the Tabu Fini slot. Well, into the ground on slot. I would imagine you do to cover the Amoongus. I think you kind of got to in this situation. So we could have taken... Uh, well... Hmm... We could have just been put to sleep with Yveltal and just snarled. Because, I mean, neither target on the opposite side of the field are really going to be doing very much anyway. There's the Earth part. Which I think takes pretty comfortably. There's a spore into the Yveltal, like we thought. Um, but, yeah, I mean, now we can just Icy Wind. I mean, we could we could Light Screen as well. Um, but we've probably got enough to... No, we'll, we'll Light Screen. We'll Light Screen. Um, and we'll go for a Snarl. Um, they're probably still worried about yeah there's a protect they're gonna put Yveltal to sleep now but it's fine it like it's fine once you get this light screen up because Yveltal will wake up eventually and there's no way they can take Yveltal down with the, the attacks they've got so it should be alright there's a light screen and there's a spore hmm Like a physical Groudon could be good in this team with Gravity, Finny, because then we could Gravity and Yveltal could be on the ground, so Amoongus isn't that much of an issue. Really gone forward. Okay, well, Icy Wind, and we'll just kind of hope that Yveltal wakes up sooner or later. As soon as the Necrozma's gone down, then Groudon's kind of got a free a free turn to come in and just, uh, like, with Incineroar and just deal with that Amoongus pretty easily. So we're going to have to cut this, obviously, because this is a Z-move. So we'll be right back, my friends. And it is into the Tapu Fini, so it is going to take a big chunk of damage. But we'll proc that berry. The light screen really helping us out there. It's in a bit of a daze when that, that animation was going on. I'm just uh, glaring at the screen. Oh, it's actually, it's happened. It's happened half an hour later. But we get the Icy Wind into the Necrozma. I definitely put it into Snarl Range. The move is going to probably try and attack the... the Finny, I would guess. Clear smog, yeah. Oh, maybe the Evelt. Let's smog. Get rid of the, those those boosts that we've had. Um, but yeah, it's kind of it's kind of hopeless for my opponent now. Um, we will go for an Itch's Madness into the Among Us. Hopefully, Evelt wakes up and we can get a snarl off. And fair play to my opponent as well in this position. You know, playing it out. Like, they know they've not really got a way to hit the Yveltal, but still continuing on, like, learning about what what their team's capable of, thinking about the match and stuff like that, and not just kind of giving up at this point, like a lot of players would. Oh, we do wake up, we do get the Snarl, it is going to take down this Necrozma, and that is going to be enough to wrap up the game. And, um, yeah, there's an Itch's Madness, and uh, we'll be able to deal with the, the shroom pretty easily now. Unfortunately, there's the case mod coming out again. Um, yeah, and we can just switch in Groudon and, or Incineroar. Well, yeah, we'll switch in Groudon, Heal Pulse. But we might just see a forfeit here, um, and then that should be enough for us to wrap this one up. But we've had two nice games today, and at least we've had two good results today. 
Um, I was uh, I was so disappointed with yesterday's one. I know I said earlier on about the result from yesterday's second game, but I just I, you know, when you have those little slips, it's like banana skin, complete banana skin, and you're like, I'm just disappointed in myself about that. It's like uh, we could have done a little bit better. I'm not taking or discounting what my opponent did there, but I just think we should be doing better in that situation. I'm gonna see a grass knot from my. Uh, opponents among us but now Groudon in a perfect position to finish this up with a big bad fat eruption so push room we might see the forfeit now no fair play to my opponent love this guy here we go boosh great for the episode and that will round it up for today guys we've had two great games thank you so much to both opponents that we've had today i hope you guys have enjoyed today's games i've really had a good time i would love to hear your thoughts and comments on what you've thought of the team and how it's performed today i think we've had really two contrasting games we had a really slog fest with that that requires a kyoga team and then we've had a bit of an easier time um with the the, the kind of psychic spam um team that we just played now and uh sorry to call it Sp psychic spam i hear that name i hear that name we need to come up with a, a better name for that kind of team variant because uh, it's one i do really like as well and um, but yes guys i'm not going to drag this on any longer we've ran over quite a bit have a great day thank you so much for tuning in i will speak to you all very soon and uh, i'll catch you for the next episode so until then take care and bye bye